What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Let's cut right to the chase. It is impossible for us to come to an agreement and make up our mind. We move out of this apartment right here in Midtown in less than two months and we still have no idea what kind of place we want next. So today we're going to land apartment hunting again. I know you guys like when I do these kind of videos and I really do enjoy doing them also. But at the same time, I hope we can agree on one and pick one soon. Names and prices will be both on the screen and in the description below of each place we see today. So sit back, relax, and hope you enjoy another video today in Atlanta. Let's go. All right, first stop today was the Brady, and this place is in West Midtown. I think this is a really cool area. They're really pumping a lot of money into this area. West Midtown is, I guess, just the portion west of uh, Georgia Tech, west of the highway. So lots of new development over there. This place is, how would they say, five or six years old, maybe. It is like, okay. I, I would, I would uh, classify this complex as okay. Definitely good enough if your standards aren't that high. I think it's a really cool courtyard in the middle with a nice doggy area down there adjacent to their parking garage uh, I know they mentioned that uh, I think parking here is only 30 or 50 bucks I believe I think 30 so uh, definitely not uh, not that much but carpet throughout the bedroom another window over there looking out over over the courtyard and the parking garage pretty good size overall no complaints here with the size I think we're overall pretty happy with the layouts and how it looks uh, really not that picky whatsoever it just it just seems kind of of dull. I don't know if it's just a, the lack of natural sunlight that's in this unit specifically or if it's the paint since it's like that darker beige and gray paint as opposed to white throughout. It's Again, it's okay, uh, not the brightest place. Uh, typical washer and dryer in suite there, so that is cool as well. But uh, here is where the money is. This is the kicker. This is why we're here considering this place, is this view from the pool on the roof. There's not many complexes, especially in this area with, with a roof lounge like this. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This is one of my largest uh, preferences and priorities, having a view like that, similar to what I do now. And this is, the room uh, on the roof as well with uh, a pool table lounges here's the gym pretty typical gym for an apartment complex uh, not that updated not quite as updated as I want it to be but overall I can work with it stop number two of the day Central West Midtown this is clearly the most expensive of the three that we're seeing today. It's top tier place though. Brand spanking new, literally top tier amenities, stainless steel appliances. I love the different colors of the wood backsplash on the walls compared to the lighter wood on the floor. Everything here is extremely new and extremely luxurious. I like the center island there as well. And this room is pretty spacious overall. I think the main kicker here is all the natural sunlight that's coming in, especially compared to the, the last one at the Brady. Great size balcony as well, overlooking that street. Uh, no complaints there, definitely throw out a uh, nice lounge uh, chair of some sort or a nice outdoor bench to chill out there all the time. Moving into the bedroom, and I do like the fact that it's pretty much white walls throughout. It just allows you to add your own color and your own decorations while maintaining the flow of everything. Sweet, huge uh, floor to ceiling window in the bedroom. Again, tons of natural sunlight. Moving into here, there's a washer and dryer in the closet between the bedroom and the bathroom. Also like that built-in storage unit there. Moving into the bathroom, kind of wish there was a double vanity. I think at this price point there would be. Usually there is, I've seen them, uh, but uh, I guess we can make do with one sink like we have in now. Uh, that's totally cool. So yeah, nice bathroom overall. Uh, moving into uh, the rest of the room again. And and moving up up to the roof deck I don't know what that is but it's just a touch of luxury that's all it is it's just a touch of luxury everything is so modern and organized and clean and neat and clean kept uh, moving outside or I guess into this room first it's like it's it's a whole nother room with a pool table and uh, and, and couches to, to lounge around, flat screen TV, and all that good stuff. Moving out here, this is again where the money is. Super sweet lounge area. I wish my place now had a ping pong table. I would run any one of you guys a ping pong. Yes, challenge accepted. Uh, Scott would love chilling on these on these swings here. I wish our place had swings like this right now. That would be sweet. We'll never uh, get off of them. But as you can see, really nice and inviting open area. 
next to the pool. Got some uh, more tables and chairs there, as well as a grill. And then check out this view, looking into both downtown and midtown. You can see the entire skyline from here. I love the clear windows from top to bottom as well. Another touch of luxury, more lounge areas here on the other side of the pool. And then the gym is, you can't beat this gym for an apartment complex, you just can't. This is definitely one of the best gyms I've ever seen out of all the places I have toured. Hey, hey, back in that bag again, don't bring me around your friends, you know that I'm bagging them. Request me on Facebook, no, I ain't adding them. Positions I had her in, hit from the back, that pussy was splattering. Calling her Alright, quick debrief of this first two we just saw. We'll start with the first one, the Brady. Scott, what'd you think of the first one? I give it like a seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's about right. Maybe like a seven out of ten. I was really hoping I would like the Brady more than I actually did. That rooftop view is insanely sweet. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And in this area, a rooftop lounge with a view like that is extremely rare. Plus, the area is great around here. A bunch of bars and restaurants we can walk to. It's just the building itself uh, was, was kind of sucky. But it's the other things holding it up. Definitely worth considering. But the second one, though, Central West Midtown. It was top tier. Top tier place. The minimum rent that we would ever get to pay is probably 2300 So, realistically, it's like 2500 at least. So, um, Scott, what do you rank that one? 9.9 out of 10. Yeah, 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 9.9 out of 10 is probably right. It's as close to a 10 as you can get. Um, because of the price, probably won't be back here, but if you're looking and you can, if, if you can afford to want to pay 2,500 bucks a month, highly recommend checking it out. All right, last stop of the day is RT Dairies in Reynolds Town, east of the city this time. This one might be the one. I'm telling you right now, this one might be the one. Uh, this is one that we can actually agree on that we both really like. It's new, it's clean, it's modern, it's updated. Just built in the year 2019, I think. I really love the east side of the city. Uh, Reynolds Town, Old Fourth Ward, Inman Park, that type of area. It's really booming, really cultural. Uh, great uh, people I met along the way on that area excuse me, out in that area. And plus I have a good amount of buddies who live there as well, which is always a kicker, always a plus. As you can see, this this unit in particular is like 830 square feet. So really good size for a one bedroom, especially for the price in today's markets. Uh, absolutely cool with paying that price for this type of place. A uh, carpet throughout the bedroom, moving into the bathroom, you have your walk-in closet in between the bedroom and the bathroom with, so, with some extra storage there as well. Everything's cool there. Thumbs up from Skylar, she's on board which you don't see that often in terms of places I like as well. Walk-in shower, always a plus. Walk-in shower, high preference on that over a bathtub. Extra storage there in the bathroom, always nice to have that. And then uh, moving into the rest of the room. Here on the left, you have your typical in-suite washer and dryer. I really like the color of these doors. I think it's a dark brown, almost black color that goes pretty cool with the rest of the units. This is the roof lounge, the sky deck. Another, another great view of the skyline there coming from the southeast end of the city really sweet honestly i could see myself filming youtube and living and chilling up here all the time great view overlooking the streets i believe that's memorial drive down there uh yeah i'm telling you now this one could be the one another another typical lounge room with the pool table a high top bar they said you could rent this out can't remember how much it costs but you could rent it out if you had a party might do that if if i end up moving in here so yeah, really cool place, uh, update and upgrade. The gym is kind of small size wise, but it has a boxing bag, it actually has, uh, I believe there is a, a, free, a free bench over there as well as a separate yoga room. So uh, no complaints here whatsoever. And more floor to ceiling windows, so you get lots of natural lights. And this is the, re the really long dog run in the back end of the place for when we have our dog with us. We'll see your brother Apollo. Ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. They missed you. Yeah. Me and Skylar are fostering Apollo for about a week or so. And if you're an OG, a couple months back we fostered Zeus. They are brothers, they have not seen each other in probably three or four months at least. So I know they're super happy to be together again. Apollo, come here. This guy's already chewing up my soccer ball. This guy is 110 pounds of freaking love. 
He's a little too healthy, so hopefully over the course of the next week we can get him down a couple pounds because you are a fat dude. You know that? You're a fat dude. But we love you already. We really do. So me and Scott were talking, and right now we're down to two choices. Probably we have our top two. Edge on the belt line, and I believe it's Inman Park, but it's literally right on the belt line. That's our number one, I think, but that one most oftentimes out of the year is around two grand, if not even higher. RT Davies and Reynolds Town is our second option right now because that one is guaranteed to be hopefully not much more than like 1850 or 1900. Either option we would be totally happy with. But right now that's our top two. I think we're probably gonna stop touring apartments now since we toured 20, 30 at least just here in Atlanta and even though it's fun it gets extremely tiring. Yeah, I'm on a carpet flying through orbits and doing no talking. Wow. Damn my body as soon as I walk and bitches be stalking. They love in a drip, they think I'm a force, they gotta move cautious. Back in my duffel, I'm working a double like I'm in a gonna wrap up the video right here. Have another beautiful night in Midtown Atlanta. Our next spot is gonna be over there, like right here out east of the city. But if you've been here since the start of my Atlanta journey when I moved downtown in July of 2021 for a year before moving here to Midtown. I really appreciate you. Can't wait to see where we go from here next. With all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed another video today as much as I did making it. If you did, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. See you next Monday. It's the anthem. If you're with it, put your hands up. Yeah. It's the anthem.